What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the JRD Motorsports Vlog. Thank you for clicking on this video and checking us out. Today, we are going to talk about how did we get started in racing? It's a question that I know I personally get asked a lot. It's probably one of the most questions, uh, one of the questions that we get asked the most, really. And I know Jamie gets asked it, and I know lots of other crew members and stuff get asked, you know, how'd you get into that? So today we're going to talk a little bit about that, and then uh, we're also going to check out one of our awesome partners, Wix Filters, sent us a mystery care package, so I'm going to check out what's in there. Appreciate the folks at Wix Filters, and uh, we're going to check that out. So it's going to be a fun one, so make sure you stick around. So my entire life and my brother's entire life, we had people take us out to Delaware Speedway up here in Canada to watch racing. We loved it. You know, we'd sit at home on weekends, watch racing, whether it was my dad, my, my mom, but both parents, my uncle, if I had to go sit there by myself, <laughs> somebody would take us to the racetrack. And uh, that's where the love really started. Um, and we went from there and when I was a late teenager, maybe early 20s, I can't really remember, uh, I started go-kart racing, um, just an arrive-and-drive type thing, it wasn't anything, I don't even think they had point standings, it was just something fun, and I thought, you know, I really want to be a race car driver, and um, so I guess I started doing that, and then I, I did stop for a while because I went to school, but after school, my brother Jamie and I, and it's the JRD, Jamie Ryan Dyson, decided we were going to go racing, we were going to really, really do this, so we Bought a four-cylinder car, we bought a trailer, Jamie had a truck, we bought all the tools, the safety gear, the you know jack, toolbox, all the stuff we needed. We didn't have a lot, we didn't have any spare parts, we just, we didn't really know what we were doing. I'd never even changed a tire on a car up until that point. Um, so we decided we were going to do it, and the first season we did it, it was a disaster. <laughs> we we were not as put together as, as we like to think we are now. We, uh, I think we, we blew a motor. Chris Lawrence helped us put a motor in a car that season. I just, there's so many people that helped us get started. I mean, our, our car wasn't even in our garage. We had to borrow a garage from our awesome friend, Nathan Tabak. Um, so a lot of people helped us that first season to even get started. Not even our house. We, we had to borrow a garage from somebody. So um, we went out and it was just brutal. Jamie drove the car a little bit. I drove the car a little bit and didn't even finish one until like three races left in the season. And then all of a sudden we got the car figured out. And we went out and got three straight top tens in our bone stock to end our bone stock career, if you will. We've we haven't done another one since that that winter. We decided to sell it and uh, build a truck. Dwayne and Lucas Manning and their entire team helped us build a truck. They talked us into it. I'm very glad they did because I don't know if we ever would have been able to move up because we didn't have the knowledge. So um, surround yourself with great smart people find find some awesome partners that are willing to back you and make it happen and uh that was the early days we just just started just just said let's go let's do it and uh, i'm really glad we did the people we've met along the way are tremendous just it, it's obviously startup money um you know you're a couple thousand bucks for a bone stock you know they're just four cylinder cars you know a couple thousand bucks for an open trailer um Jamie had a truck, a couple thousand dollars in safety gear and tools and stuff. I mean, you're, you're probably five, six, seven thousand dollars to get started. But once you're started, a lot of that you have. And I mean, we've added a ton of tools over time. But, you know, that was that was the initial start for us. All righty. Our friends from Wix Filters, fantastic partners of ours, have sent us a care package. And let's check it out. Let's see what they sent us. Before I do this, Wix filters, best filters on the market. It's the only thing we will trust in our race cars. Uh, air filters, fuel filters, oil filters. It's the only thing we'll put in our super stock. So check out Wix filters. What do we got in here? Ooh, yeah, the guys are going to like these. You got one of these, baby? Yeah. Look at these. These are some nice hats from Wix filters. I like these. This one's all dirty from working on the show. Let's do this. How does this look? How Perfect. Look? Still ugly, right? <laughs> Never. We got ooh, some shirts, t-shirts. Well, these are nice. They're actually embroidered. Are they golf shirts or t-shirts? Embroidered t-shirts. I dig it. I dig it. Gilded t-shirts. Oh yeah. 
guy's gonna like these too. I'm not taking my shirt off to try one of these on. Oh, this depends. What's this? Cooler? Ooh. Isn't that fancy? Mm -hmm. Look at that. With filters. There we go. Really appreciate the folks from Wix Filters hooking us up. We'll be sure to wear these. You know what we gotta do? When we win our next race, we gotta do the hat dance in Victory Lane like the old NASCAR days. This hat, take a picture. This hat, take a picture. That's what we gotta do. Man, it's weird to be over on this side of the shop without a race car. It'll be home soon enough. Uh, it's getting closer. The new body's looking awesome. But uh, back to back to today's talking point how do we get started we just talked a little bit about you know where we started and how we started with the bone stock but the transition from bone stock to, to we went short track truck racing at delaware speedway um the manning team helped us they, they let us use their entire shop for the winter helped us build a truck basically from the ground up we bought one that had been in a crash and, and basically needed to be reclipped and everything it was it was pretty bad so basically built a new truck um went out in that first season we we found victory lane twice and uh i didn't expect that i really i didn't know what to do i mean we, we work so hard and, and surround ourselves with some pretty pretty smart people and just just worked and just learned went over practice and learned and everything we found ourselves in victory lane twice and our i would almost consider that our first real like it was our first real season running for points and and um so, so that was an awesome season and then and then covid hit and uh 2020 season we had a badass looking truck. We we re redid that thing, put a whole new body on it, and uh, never raced it. It uh, well, we went to Grand Bend once, and we were the only truck that showed up. So, I guess technically we won the championship because we were the only ones that ever ran a race that season. <laughs> but um, we sold it. We never ever really raced the awesome body and awesome paint scheme on that thing. And then we bought our, the super stock we have now. We. Uh, Got a smoking deal on it, and, and uh, I think a lot of people thought, you know, maybe Delaware was done. So uh, we we picked it up, took a risk on it without even having sold the truck. We actually had two race cars at one point and um, did a bunch of updates to it, went out, finished second at Jucasa Motor Speedway in our third ever race in a super stock. What a day that was. That's, you know, the stickers and scuffs guys were over the other other week and asked what's up what's my favorite trophy in the shop it's not even our first win in a super stock it's it's not my first win in a truck it's not the team's first win it's 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 that jucasa second place finish is my favorite trophy in the shop because we shouldn't have done what we did that day and we did it we did it well and um so that's that's still the same car we have that's we've had a bone stock the truck and the super stock uh who knows what'll be next maybe it'll be the super stock for a little while maybe something else i don't know but uh that that's a little bit of our kind of ride in in racing it's it's been pretty quick you know 20 a few of our subscribers were dumbfounded that up here in canada the last video i said that winter was about to arrive finally and it's like almost out of january but here let me flip this around i have proof that it's finally here winter is finally here uh, a lot of the snow's melted again already it's per fairly warm out today but yeah, that's we had one one bad snowfall end of December, and then it was gone within three days, and then now there's finally been snow on the ground for more than a week. I was I wasn't lying. The video wasn't filmed filmed crazy early, and we uploaded it late. That was it's like the end of January, and uh, we finally have a little bit of snow on the ground. Crazy, but it's been nice. I'm not sure if it's a good or bad thing, but it's been nice. So that's that's pretty much it for today. I just thought it was kind of cool to talk about how we got started and let people know that it is doable i mean if you want to go racing you can make it happen it's uh, it's a lot of work but it's it's definitely worth it and uh if anybody ever has any questions you know we're a pretty open book i like to you know we've had a lot of people help us and that's the only reason we're able to do what we do so we're a pretty open textbook uh, for the most part if you have any questions pop them in the comment section below and i'd be happy to make another another video or even just answer them on right on the comment section um if there's anything let us know i uh i like to help and um pass pass that knowledge on that you know we've been taught so that's it for today i appreciate everyone clicking on this video make sure you hit that subscribe button for us if everybody who watches these clicks that subscribe button it would just make me so happy so so happy so please please do hit that for us make sure you like the video check out jaredmotorsports.ca 
Make sure you like us on all of our other social media pages. We're hopefully going to release our 2023 paint scheme coming up soon. It is by far, I know I say this every time, it is by far my favorite that we have ever had. And uh, that new body is going to look awesome. And the new paint scheme is going to look super sharp. So make sure you check out all of our other social media pages so you're the first one to see it. And uh, we'll be back here next time, I think, maybe tomorrow night or whenever you see this. We're going to the shop again to work real soon. And uh, make, sure, make sure we can get that front end back on the bot or on the car and uh, hopefully get it back here in our shop before we start wrapping it. We'll see how the weather looks now that Canadian winter has finally arrived. Thank you, everybody, for clicking on this video, and uh, we'll be back soon.